Oh. A wild classroom of eco geeks exploring biodiversity. The world is a beautiful mystery. Life, learning, and discovery. E e e e e e e eco geeks. I'm standing in a tropical rainforest. I've heard this can be kind of a scary place with dangerous and deadly animals everywhere we turn. But I'm skeptical, so I came here with Rob to investigate the forest and to learn about one creature in particular that's been misunderstood. Now the rainforest interior, especially around dusk, can get extremely dark, but that's good because we're looking for an animal that doesn't come out until it's dark. We're looking for the most bizarre animal. They're called amplipigids, tailless whip scorpions. When you're looking to study an organism like the tailless whip scorpion, first, do some research and learn as much as you can about it, especially in books and journals. And then, get out there and explore it and find it yourself like Rob is doing now. So you know, for centuries, people have been afraid of these guys. Weird. That's right. Early explorers found that locals were really afraid of them, and they even told scientists that a bite from one of them would cause swelling, vomiting, and if untreated, possible death. Oddly enough, these creatures are completely harmless. That doesn't stop Hollywood, though. Recently, an amblypigeon made an appearance in Harry Potter. So that's the, um, the Cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! Come! Come! Particularly nasty. The torture curse. Crucio! featured in Fear Factor, but really, there's nothing to be afraid of. That doesn't mean I'd want to eat one. Your next stunt. You guys are going to have to eat these African cave-dwelling spiders. So, another good way to learn about animals like the tailless whip scorpion is to follow somebody who's researching them and get the information. Kind of like Eben over here. So usually I just spot a crevice and then put my light inside it and look and see if there's anything inside. Um, <laughs> well, I can show you with the molt because the molts look pretty much like the real live animals. Um, they're a little, they're a little frightening looking at first. Um, they're, they've got spines on them and they use them for grabbing their prey. So the first thing I asked was, man, are those things dangerous? I've handled hundreds of them and um, I've never been bitten. So Evan marks and collects individuals in the field so that he can then bring them back into the lab for a more controlled observation. Now this aspect of his work deals with understanding amblypigid behaviors. There's lots of cool things about them. Um, males interact with other males and females interact with other females in really complex ways. So they have these um, complex ritualized uh, behaviors that they, they engage in where they, they touch each other with their antenniform leg, legs and display their petty palps to each other. and. Um, and these behaviors are all really interesting. And then maybe the coolest thing about them is that we really don't know anything about them at all yet. So um, anything we can learn about uh, where they live, what they eat, what eats them, and um, how they behave is, is gonna be new, so. These guys are pretty cool. They're a lot less intimidating once you learn more about them. With a little bit of research and help from the experts, we hope to have uncovered some of the mysteries surrounding the tailless whip scorpion. For more information, go to thewildclassroom.com slash biomes. And remember, we encourage you to never stop exploring. Little dude. He's so fast. You got him, Jonas? I got him. We got to put you yes. back in your home. Hey, little buddy.